Well, I'm the youngest of five kids, um, the older four siblings had all, all gone to school here, and my two sisters just above me were both Ag Econ majors here. So I really just kind of followed in footsteps. I don't know that I put a whole lot of thought into it. My brother was pulling for me to go animal science because that's what his degree was in. And then my two sisters were Ag Econ. Um, always kind of liked the business side of things, and so Ag Econ just kind of became a natural fit. Well, my major was agricultural economics with a marketing and business option, I believe is what it was called then. So, uh, I, you know, great degree, great professors. I went to a high school where I graduated with 18 people. So I was used to a really small environment. And I think I got the same thing when I came here. Had personal relationships by the time I got here with some of the professors. Um, I'm involved in 4-H and FFA, so I knew a lot of the students, and so it was just kind of an extension of what I had started in high school, kind of continued over, so it was a nice, easy transition. Had a great experience, um, again, youngest of five to go to school here, so really all I had to do was follow in the footsteps that had gone before me, and then I got to push those a little bit further, uh, you know, from involvement in activities to uh, involvement on campus to the college to, um, you know, just to everything in general, travel abroad and things of that nature. So just had a great experience. You know, I don't know that I had a true um, aspiration to be an attorney. I'd really never thought about it. My best friend is a guy named Jed Winters who I met. He was an Ag Econ major up here and we met our freshman year, really our sophomore years when we started hanging out. And my plan was to go get an MBA and a PhD in finance in our senior year. He just said, man, what are you going to go do that for? Why don't you go to law school? I mean, don't get an MBA. It's just a business degree. You've got one. Why don't you go to law school with us? And then you can go, you know, get a PhD if that's what you want to do. So I thought, okay, there's some logic to that, right? So I took the LSAT and applied to law school and I went and I've practiced law every day since and he's never practiced at all. So uh, he was the smart one of the, of the two of us, but this kind of got me started. And then I started in transactional and so business, which I like the business side of things and just kind of kept my interest peak. So still there. I would say learn how to think. Our uh, education system now, uh, which I just talked about in class, is really a regurgitation system, right? So we memorize, we regurgitate, we memorize, we regurgitate. Uh, and I didn't really have an understanding of that till I went to law school because that method that they used to teach is a lot different. Um, so you learn how to think, and I think that's something that we've really lost um, in our education system is the understanding the why and the how and those type things. And so I would, it, I would tell myself, learn how to think because when you learn how to think, you know, you can make sense of anything and everything, and you can really uh, uh, provide value uh, to whatever your future career is. Things, I would say that for my profession that I actually practice in now, there's not anything in particular. I would say it would be a continuation of things that I started learning in high school, from the public speaking, uh, you know, to those type of involvement things, to coming here and being in leadership roles. Um, on campus and learning how to manage a group of people that are all busy, um, those type things. So I don't know that it's class specific as much as it is just experience of the, the college experience uh, that would probably, I would say, helps me the most today. Um, you know, I mean, laws are pretty specific, so there's not really anything here. You know, as far as classes, it's actually not even an Ag Econ class. One that kind of inspired me that when Jed approached me about, hey, go to law school, I'd taken a business law class here with Andy Gurk, who does a lot of outreach in the College of Business, and he was a phenomenal professor. And so when Jed said, hey, go to law school, that's what I associated law school with was Dr. Urich and how, um, you know, that business law class. It's not that way at all. He just does a great job of, you know, of kind of inspiring you to be interested. Um, so I would say that class of any that I had here as far as my actual profession, but just my involvement um, in the leadership opportunities that are available here in the College of Ag is probably the thing that has benefited me the most uh, in my, my career.